rather if you're watching this video you must have heard of something like cut image in archicad cut image in archicad is simply an additional it's an add-on kind of an element to the card which you use to you have to make to beautify your house yeah they are coverings add-on coverings roof coverings column coverings wall coverings slab coverings they are all that, that kind of covering they also places that we also can we also can use a uh, cut image places like uh, elements like windows doors cabinets staircases so for this video particular video we're going to see on how we call cut image on what on the walling yeah so what do we do let's see first let's first of all see our 3d of this uh, four bedroom four bedroom unit so i'm going to right click on that and show selected uh, whatever on 3d as you can see how it is yeah just a simple four bedroom unit as you if you select this you're going to note this is a covering this is a roof covering i've used card image yeah you that control T in the settings you see card image roof covering yeah if you delete this you're going to have you're going to remain with the actual roof that normally we have in in archicad yeah for now we're not going to concentrate much on the roof you want just to do the walling for 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 instance you want your wall to have a, a seal height seal height kind of covering right from a plinth to a certain height here yeah all around you want it to have two two kind of layers the bottom and the and the upper layer so what do you do i'm going to select all or volume external volume that i want like that let me just group that okay so if you want to fill that with the uh, card image what do i do having highlighted those walls like that I'll go to card image right here as you can see when you add card image in your in your uh, archicad file I'm um, archicad program you're going to see it pop in here card image so click on it coverings wall coverings okay as you can see you have slab you have roof you have color click on wall coverings if you click on wall coverings, you're going to find out layout here. This layout is the only that is going to enable you to kind of uh, to select what kind of wall you want. You can see it is divided into so many parts here. Yeah? Like this is a single covering. We have a double covering. Yeah, the the seal below seal and the rest. We have above the beam and one layer below. Okay, we have three below the seal, intermediate, and the and above beam. that is above the beam. For case, let's use this. We have so many options you can play around with them. For our case, let me use please split at seal height. Yeah, so that is going to give me two kind of coverings below the seal and above just that. So this is to put dimension. What dimension do you want it to be from the ground level to whatever level you want for me we'll put 600 yeah and then you can you can look at this how do you want it to to react when it gets to the gable part of it so now because you don't, you don't have any kind of a gable i just use that yeah base shape you know all these are not relevant at this particular point yeah so covers when you click on covering it's going to pop main covering and below see so what you need 
so there is this kind of a button here main main covering yeah you don't have to put any kind of covering because uh, we have already an existing wall yeah so i'll put on like none yeah below seal we can opt to use that yeah but it has to have uh, a limited kind of thickness so bricks and blocks you can see 200 by okay, 2 by 250 or by 300 just height and thickness so these the thickness of that cladding kind of cladding we have put below the seal how thick do you want it to be let me just put 10 yeah it's all right like that so this I can put 100 half of this yeah, below seal what kind of color do I need yeah you can opt to use any okay so we have uh, set on that white task white way there yeah horizontal trims not good concentrate on that much because you have not put anything on th on that as you can see it's none none yeah none but you can click on them you put something for you to understand what but what they are yeah for the seal height i'm going to separate with a, that kind of coping it's not like a kind of coping but let's just call it that yeah opening you know you're not going to put anything there so i think we have set our world to whatever thing we may want to that is workable click on ok if you click there you're going to note something yeah it's coming to just two walls yeah i show you it will come in bits like when you click on that you don't want to click inside you want your covering to be outside so let it be outside the wall yeah? like that let it be outside the walling yeah you don't want to bring it here let it be outside the walling make sure it's outside the walling but not outside as much just yeah, like this yeah so if you can if you can you can see you can see there is a layer that has added itself on the on the outside of the existing wall so let's see how that selection in 3d you see you can see how it is how it is popping yeah, it's like that so if you select these yeah, you're going to note it's getting to a particular height control t is going with the height of the wall right <clears throat> so it's up to you to make sure you have set the wall in your archicad to be a specific kind of height of the wall that you need you want to change anything on this uh, card image if you inject this using alt then you can say control on it's going to select every card coverings on the wall yeah so control t perhaps you want to change below seal you want to change to be generic or something like that yeah below seal See, you want only control T. I've highlighted the wall on this card. Control, control T. You can change on the layout of the coverings. Perhaps you may want to, to use this the kind of layers. Yeah, you can see. How it is reacting, yeah. Just stick to that. You can 
can see it has added another layer here yeah because it's showing three kind of these intermediate and the above yeah? so it all depends with what kind of uh, layer you need and control z go back to original setting that i set so i think uh, it's my high hope that i've shown you at least how you can work around with the covering of the beam covering of the wall using card image if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask we are here for you guys so thank you so much next lesson we're going to work on how you could work on this roof coverings yeah put on so many so many so many elements down pipes and stuff like that so see you next time